Okay guys, we got this 525 XI right here. It's 2008, I believe. And the customer had washed their key. Um, the board was all corroded. I fixed the key. Oh, I tried to clean it up, but it'll randomly set the alarm off. So, what we're gonna do is stick this in here, turn the ignition on. Let's turn everything off. Turn the radio down. Oh, we'll open up our IM. I got uh, two kilos to go. Keys here. Let's see, there's one. There's the other one. I don't know. Do auto detect. I don't know uh, if we're going to need the programmer or not for this. Or if we just need the all tell. So, this is what they look like. So let's see if this will connect. Should auto ID, I would think. It's a 2008. There we go. It's doing something. Okay. So I think it was an 08. It's either an 08 or it's an 07, but I think they said it's an 08. Oh, we need internet. Let me turn my wife hotspot on. Okay, so we're on Wi-Fi now. Let's see if this will focus. Maybe. There we go. So we're on Wi-Fi. So we go to yes, obtaining data, we go cast three. Oh, I guess it's an 06. And then we should be able to get our key code, code out of here too. Let's see control unit, immobilizer. Cause then I can just cut the key by the key cut code. Let's see, is it vehicle information? I should read the uh, cast module and then give me the key code. Oh, right there it is, mechanical key code. So then that's all we need for our code right there, that mechanical key code. Let's go back. Let's go to key operation, key learning, OBD learning. Here we go. Mission switch is on. There we go. Okay. Try ignition switch. Please select the key position to be written. Let's see. I guess we'll just do. I don't know if it makes a difference. We'll do this one. Semi smart key. Oh, the key needs to be pre processed. So let me, uh, let me hook my programmer up. I think we can use this one. We might need the XP400. Okay, so let's press yes. Please click the and put the key into the programmer. So there we go, our key's sitting in there. Let's press okay. And then you'll actually see this flash as it's writing. See that? Key processing successful. Let's see, put it in ignition. Uh, I didn't like that key. At least it said it there. Okay, so you see that? Just press OK. It says writing the key. Let's see if it changes up here. It's connecting to the internet right now. You heard everything change. Look at that. It still says writing key, please wait. Now it shows the key symbol. Key symbol went away. Semi smart key complete. Remove key from the ignition switch. There we go. Reinsert an ignition switch. Press the Everybody Press the start button. There we go. 
Car powered up. But do not start the car. Proceed with the next step. He ran successfully. Okay, look at that. So let's see if this starts the car now. Okay, it says the steering wheel lock prevents the car from starting. Okay, so there we go. I think that was just because we were writing to the key. But look at that. There we go. So we have no more messages with that one. Okay, so that one does it. Look at that lock. There we go. Look at that. So that all works. Okay, so now we'll do our next key. Let's see. We just do ignition switch generation. Programmer generation means you just do it all right in the right in the programmer. And I think it raced a file to the car or something. So we'll do this one again. There we go. Put that in the ignition switch. There we go. Press OK. Writing the key. And now you'll be able to see what happens. There we go. You heard the chime. Let's see if we can leave the scan tool right here. Oh, it's probably a little blurry, but there we go. So now it says remove the key, reinsert it, press the start button. So we'll just do that part. See, take it out. See, that's when we got our error message just like last time. Start button. Then we press OK. Key ran successfully. If the vehicle cannot be stored, OK. So we get that message, but then uh, it ends up going away. There we go. Look at that. So that one started it. So let's shut this off. Let's try this one. Look at that. Let's make sure this one starts it. There we go. Now let's make sure that their OEM one starts it and then I'll go fire up the dolphin and the key tool max and we'll cut this key. There we go. So that starts it. There we go. Okay, so we're gonna go to uh, All Keys Lost. We'll go to BMW and I believe it's 0154 if I remember correctly. You can see where our numbers are at. Let's cue this up. I might have to double check it, see what we get. See if that looks like our key. That looks nothing like our key. Well, let me try that again. Okay, I typed that in wrong. It's zero five one four. There we go. So we could decode this key, but I figured, hey, we'll just cut a new one. Oh, look at that. That looks a lot better. So I'm going to put one of these blades in there, and we'll cut it, and then we'll go from there. Okay, we got it in there. Let's go and cut this. Oh, what's wrong with our key? Uh, let me try to check it again. That was my fault. I wasn't on the B clamp. I had the A up. So now we'll be able to do it. It'd be nice if it just said, hey, wrong clamp.
keep going and then we'll come back. So guys, I cut this one. Looks exactly like our OEM key. I have the other one cutting. I already tried it, I just want to show you guys. So we'll come over here in the car. Let's see. Watch this. Stick it in. Boom, like butter. BMWs don't lock when the door's open. But uh, yeah, so we'll wait for this one to cut, then we'll try that one, then we're done. Okay guys, so here's our, here's our first key, or our second key, I should say. So look at that. Oh, now it lets me lock it. So we'll set that there. Set our remote here. Let's grab our other key out of this one. There we go. Let's see. There we go. Look at that. Just to confirm our locks. There we go, that one worked. Oops, you guys didn't even get to see it. So that one works. There you go, that one works. So there you go, I hope you guys liked it. See you later. Oh, and what else I did? Just wanna add this. So I took the battery out of this remote, I cut it back open. I had to remove the battery. So now it should start the car, but it won't, uh, the remote portion won't work. I just glued it back together real quick because I just want to use it as like a backup for their backup.